When the Wind Blew by Margaret Wise Brown Pictures by Jeffrey Hayes Once there was an old, old lady, and she lived by the side of the ocean all by herself. She was all by herself in the world because she was so old everyone had forgotten her, and the children and the new people in the world didn't even know where she lived or that she was alive. So she lived by the side of the ocean in a little shack made of wooden planks all whitened and silvered by the ocean winds. And she had 17 cats and one little blue-gray kitten. Every morning, the old lady went down to the ocean to bathe. And every morning, the 17 cats and one little blue-gray kitten walked across the yellow sands and down to the edge of the ocean behind the old lady. When the old lady went back to her wooden house, all the 17 cats and the blue-gray kitten followed behind her. And when they got home, they all mewed and purred and gurgled for their breakfast. So the old lady would put on a big apron, take her little wooden chair and a bucket, and go out to her cow and milk the cow until the bucket was full of white foaming milk. Then she would carry the bucket of milk into the house and pour it splashing into 17 purple saucers that stood clean and shining in a row for her 17 cats. And then she would pour some into a little blue saucer for the blue gray kitten. Then she would pour some into a big glass mug for herself, and the old, old lady and the 17 cats and the blue-gray kitten would drink milk for their breakfast. Then after breakfast, all the 17 cats cleaned their paws with their 17 pink tongues, and the little blue-gray kitten cleaned just one of his paws all by himself with his little pink tongue. And then his mother came and rolled him over and gave him a good scrubbing with her tongue. All this time, the little old lady was washing her glass mug and the 17 purple saucers and the little blue saucer. After she washed them, she put them out in the warm sun to dry. And all the 17 cats strolled out into the sunlight to dry and the little blue gray kitten went bouncing out in the sun to dry, and the old lady went walking out into the sun to watch her cats. But one day, the wind began to blow through the sunlight. It blew and it blew, the way the wind blows on the edge of the ocean, and it blew all the sunlight cold. It blew the 17 cats' fur all over their backs when they went out in it, and it almost blew the little gray kitten off his feet. The old lady went out in the wind to get her cats and her little kitten, because cats do not like wind, and neither did the blue gray kitten. So the old lady picked them up from where they were hiding in old boxes, and under the house, and behind the wood pile and she brought them all one by one into the house out of the wind. And she brought the little blue gray kitten in and gave him some warm milk in his little blue saucer because he was cold and shivering. Then all the 17 cats and the little blue gray kitten curled up by the old lady's fire and went to sleep. And that was when the old lady got her toothache. As she sat by the fire, the tooth began to ache, and it ached and it ached, a dull ache in the side of her jaw. The poor old lady, she sat there by her fire with a terrible toothache, 
and she didn't have any medicine to take, and she didn't have any dentist to come to her, and she didn't have anyone to make her hot broth and tell her it would soon be over. She just had 17 cats and one little blue-gray kitten. She didn't even have a hot water bottle, which is the very best thing in the world for old ladies to put on their toothaches. Poor old lady. So she just got into her bed and pulled the covers up high around her ears and listened to the cold wind howling outside. The wind tore across the ocean and whipped across the sands and whistled around the old lady's home. It shook the house until the old lady's bed shook too, and the seventeen cats went over into a corner and all huddled together in one big warm pile of fur. The poor old lady lay in bed with her tooth aching and wished and wished that she had a hot water bottle to put against her jaw to soothe the ache that was there. But she had no hot water bottle, and she lay in her bed with the wind tearing through the cracks in her house. She was very cold and very sad, and her toothache was all that there seemed to be in the world. Then all of a sudden, she heard a click, click, purr, purr, click, purr, somewhere next to her ear, and she felt something warm along the side of her face where the toothache was. It was so warm, it felt like a hot water bottle. Heat, just the very best thing for old ladies' toothaches. What could it be? Purr, 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 purr. The old lady looked around, and there, curled warm and soft by the side of her face, purring just as hard as he could, was her little blue-gray kitten. Just as good as a fur-covered hot water bottle. Her face grew warmer and warmer next to the little furry kitten's warm side. And the little kitten got warmer and warmer, and purred and purred as he lay by the old lady's cheek. And the wind moaned and howled outside, and the fire shadows danced on the old lady's ceiling, and the toothache went away. The cabin grew warmer, and the little blue-gray kitten purred on by the old lady's cheek, until she forgot that she had ever had a toothache. And it almost seemed as though the old lady were purring too, as she fell sound asleep in her little house by the edge of the ocean with her seventeen cats and the little blue-gray kitten.